It's a big, big basketball week around these parts this week. Suns are back for a four-game homestand that starts tomorrow, coming off their big, big, much-needed win against the Pelicans last night, 124-111. And, of course, the final four is in town starting on Saturday with the championship game on Monday. It seemed like a very appropriate time to have on a member of a championship team from not that long ago during the final four. And, of course, I'm talking about Grayson Allen of the Phoenix Suns, who joins us here on the Burns and Gambo show to talk about that and the state of the Suns right now. Grayson is always welcome back to the show. And uh, from what I understand, if I remember it right, your alma mater, your team was the last one that was still around in the Suns locker room in this year's tournament. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, it was. We made it the furthest by one round. Yeah, because that Kentucky team went out pretty early to Oakland. Yeah, we I mean we weren't even talking about Kentucky in the locker room. They were just they were done for <laughs> first day. Oh man. I, I listen, I want to ask you about about your, your college basketball. First, have you had a chance at all? Like last night the LSU Iowa women's game was on for a chance to go to the final four. This Caitlin Clark, nine three pointers, she she had forty one, really dominated the game. Have you had a chance to watch her play at all this year? Yeah, I've watched uh, a handful of games, and I've I've tried to catch most of the tournament games she's played in. Um, last night, like right before, I think it started a little bit before our game, so uh, I saw a little bit of it before our game, and uh, I was kind of joking with uh, Book and Roddy that like she was going to need to go get forty to win that game, and she did <laughs> forty-one, twelve, and seven. It's pretty crazy. She's yeah. A, She's an amazing player. It's fun watching her play. It really is. I mean, I you know when when she comes to town next year to take on the Mercury, it might be one of those you know must see games. Just which just overall thoughts about uh, about watching her play. I mean, clearly the best female player you've ever seen. Uh, in college, definitely. Um, and it, I mean, it seems like their offense. It's so difficult to do what she does because she is you know, the majority of their offense with her scoring and passing. And so everything is keyed on stopping her and teams still can't like you try to stop her from getting up three. She's still getting up 15 threes and scoring 40 points. So, uh, it's it's really impressive and fun to watch. Yeah, uh, Grayson Allen is our guest here on the Burns and Gambo Show. We do want to talk about the Suns, we will, but with the Final Four this week, you I looked it up, national championship game against Michigan State. You played 17 minutes. You had nine points. Uh, the 2015 championship. What are your memories of the Final Four? What do you remember from that time in your life, Grayson? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was such a blur. Um, the... Elite Eight, I actually didn't play much, so I wasn't expecting... I don't even think I played at all in the Elite Eight. It was one of the Sweet 16 games. And so I wasn't expecting to play at all in the Final Four, and we got a big lead against Michigan State, and I got some minutes in that game, and then um, got like 20 minutes in the National Championship game because I was able to come in and, and play real well in the first spot, spot minutes that I had. So it was all surreal and, and such a blur, but definitely uh, one of my probably my favorite moment looking back at when I was at Duke. Yeah. All right, let's talk about last night's game and, and obviously a huge win. Uh, you, all the starters in double figures, everybody had a big night. But when Devin Booker is like that, I, I, tell me how – how it how it go, not how it goes over but when as you're watching it as you're participating in it when do you know that he is going to have a night like that <laughs> uh you kind of always just like know that he's capable of it because it, it seems like it just happens very quick um but he he gets it going early kind of in our sets and within the offense that we're running and then once he gets hot you know, when we're we're looking for him, I'm running off ball to try to set some screens to get him open, and guys are finding him. And uh, when he's got it going like that, it makes the offense a lot easier. You can just give it to him and say, "Hey, can you score this for us?" <laughs> It's listen. I mean, you're known. You're the top three point shooter in the NBA this year. Um, you've been a great addition for this team. Just a great addition. Uh, but it does seem to me like when you dunk the ball, you have a lot more fun. You took this two handed dunk. <laughs> you made it. It, it, it was first quarter. It made it thirty eight to eighteen. It was right after you had hit a corner three. 
You throw that thing down, you're looking at their bench. I'm telling you, I, I'm noticing this. You have a lot more fun when you dunk a basketball than when you hit a three. <laughs> Well, yeah, I hit a lot more threes than I get dunks, so the dunks are a little bit more exciting whenever those happen. Is it, when you, as a three-point shooter, how open is that, that ability for you to drive the lane and get a layup or a dunk or something that's easy because of how tight they've got to guard you knowing how well you've shot the three this season? Yeah, I think that's what kind of my shooting is what, uh, makes me so good in closeout situations is that that example is kind of perfect I got swung the ball and if the guy was two feet back from where he was I would have shot it um, but he had to press all the way up to prevent me from shooting a three and I still got a little bit of speed and athleticism to drive by and get to the rim and go dunk it so that, that makes it much tougher for defenses when they have to close out knowing that uh, both can happen Grayson Allen is our guest here on the Burns and Gambo show. And obviously right now with seven games left on the season and you guys are in this battle to stay out of the play in tournament, every single game matters. Last night's game certainly mattered a ton when it comes to staying out of the play in tournament. How, how much, there's not a lot of games left. Do you feel like you guys have enough time to tighten up the things you want to tighten up going into the postseason, be it the play-in tournament or if, you, if you're able to get out of that? Do you feel like you have enough time to do the things you need to do to be yourself, to be as ready as you can be for the playoffs? Uh, yeah, I think we do. And we have – we play nothing but good teams to finish the year. So we have great tests and great opportunities to go continue to work on it against playoff-caliber teams and um, – it's. I mean, it's right there. Like I think over our last six games, it's been like every other game has looked like how we want to look. So it's just we got to get that consistently going. And so tomorrow's a, a good opportunity to get two games in a row instead of doing it every other game. I said this to you earlier. I'll say it again. I mean, you have been a terrific addition, and I think every Suns fan out there is hoping you're going to stay around long term. You are eligible now for that four-year $75 million extension. They want to give it to you. I know they want to give it to you. Do you think something could get done sooner rather than later? Do you want to stay in Phoenix long-term? Uh, I, I love Phoenix. I've loved everything about Phoenix. So, um, you know, as we're getting into this end of the season stretch, I'm, I'm trying to keep the focus on team stuff because I feel like a, a contract and an extension just gets very individual in a time when I shouldn't be thinking about how I'm playing or the money I'm going to make or anything like that, especially as we're playing these tough games to get into the playoffs. So um, I'm letting my agent and the front office here in Phoenix handle those talks. And um, But, I mean, to answer your question, like I, I love Phoenix. I, I've loved this season in Phoenix. I love being here. So um, you know, hopefully, hopefully something that good happens. I'll uh, I'll leave you with this. Um, Arizona would have beat you guys if they had gotten by Wisconsin that year. I'm just saying. <laughs> we were having such I'm, a pleasant I'm just conversation, saying, Gamble. What you know, Kaminsky you do that and Decker. Two years in a row, they took down Arizona in the Elite Eight. I'm telling you, that Arizona team, <laughs> they would have beat Duke that year. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think, you, I think you, you had a better chance of, if you were going to say if Kentucky beat Wisconsin and then a national championship game, maybe that Kentucky team. But mm. All I don't right. know about that. Grayson, he carries so much water for U of A basketball, he might as well be a camel. <laughs> don't worry about him, okay? I swear, don't worry about him. He, he's just, he, just, he just likes to mouth off about a team that can't not lose to a team in the tournament that's four seeds worse than them. So don't just ignore him, all right? It's fine. <laughs> Grayson, we appreciate the time. Congratulations on a great season, and truly best of luck these last games and in the postseason. We appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. You got it. Thanks, Grayson. Grayson Allen. Why would you have to go there? We were having such a nice conversation. That was a great them. conversation. You just you go right there. I liked his answer about the contract. I had really, to ask him about it. I know. Had I, to ask him about and it. And I really liked his answer about it because it was very – that it's individual. I don't want to be focused on the individual stuff. I want to be focused on the team stuff. And I know it was kind of a, a stock answer in that regard, but I like the way he phrased it because he's absolutely yep. right. It's 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 got to be focused on the team stuff right now for sure. I agree with you. No doubt about it. Thanks for watching Burns and Gambo. Click to see more from the guys and hit the button in the middle to subscribe so you never miss a video from Arizona Sports.